You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all the, be so- I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. Greetings, viewers. Brad returning to Vice City and doing one of the most annoyingly easy but frustrating missions in the game. It's called Copland. And yeah, it is not easy to deal with. So let's get on with Copland. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so. I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now oh, the yeah, cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, first you gotta get police to chase you. Two police officers into a lockup to where you can tie them up and take their clothing. Yeah, the easiest way to get a police car to chase you is to ram them. For some reason that doesn't work very well, but I digress. So let's go find a police car and get the police to chase us. Here's a hint. Get to the lockup first and then hit a cop or you know, make sure you're real kneeler to the lockup before you hit a cop and then get the police to chase you. The lockup doesn't close because there's only one police officer in the corner. And I hit him and knock him out, but that does nothing. And Lance is in the way, so hop over to cars and try and find another police officer. Yeah, this is not easy. Like you said, you have to have two police officers. And there seems to be only one per car in Vice City and... No more police officers around to be found. Hey, after not being able to find any more police officers, I decide to run back to the lockup where this police officer is just standing there. Once I shoot him, a bunch of other cops show up. Once two or more police officers enter the loading bay, it shuts and you and Lance can mug the cops, tie them up, and take their uniform. Then you go to this convenient police car around the corner and you take that to the mall to set the timer and uh, move on. So let's get on with this game here. Great, now Lance is clowning me and I got to go back and pick him up because he's an idiot running into the wall. Uh, hey dummy, get into the car please, okay? Got it dummy, let's go. This bad. 
okay, it doesn't matter where you park your police car, you're not using this exit. You're going to use a different exit. And I'll explain why once we get to the next part of the mission. As you walk toward your goal, you notice an exit right next to it. That is the exit you will be using once you plant the bomb and get out and everything happens. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! Okay, rather than fight your way through a mall full of police officers, you run for this exit right here, and now it takes you outside. There's a taxi and the police wanted level icon. For some reason, you can't jump this fence, so you're going to have to run to the wanted level icon and drop it down to four because it makes things a little easier for you when you get into the taxi and try and get to your destination. Now that you got your wanted level reduced to four, it makes things a lot easier. Don't bother with the adrenaline pill, and as far as things go, just drive. And don't worry, you'll get bumped around and knocked around, but you should be able to make it back to your destination in the taxi. We are back. I'm just parking the taxi right in the circle there. Well, running into the circle. And Lance follows. And ta-da! Protection ring asset completed. You get all kinds of benefits. The estate starts earning money, which you can keep collecting. And guess what? Mission passed for $10,000. I'll show you some stuff after this and benefits of the Versetti Mansion now that you've passed. But I'm going to save. And then you get an annoying call from Lance and he whines about some stuff. But whatever. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. I post four video game related videos a week plus some specials. If you don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will be informed. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by, and stay tuned for some bloopers and some benefits. Thanks for sticking with me, viewers. So far, I'm going to show you a huge benefit of Versetti Estates once you've acquired the property fully and your assets fully. Down here, um, yeah, these idiots won't get out of my way, but I'll jump over. There is a vault. It has a health icon, a shotgun, and one of the best weapons, the M16 in GTA Vice City, as well as armor. When you return to Versetti Estates after you have lost your armor and got shot up and lost some of your health, you can come down to this armory, get your health back up, get new armor, and get a couple of really cool weapons. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching, and thanks for stopping by. Oh, my God.
ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ